Hello. Um, I'm going to talk to you about engagement for learning. Engagement for learning is absolutely essential for your student life because it's a driving motor behind your progress and learning. We strongly incentivize that you engage in school and we do that via a number of rewards. Uh, we have house points, of course, so every lesson, if you're diligent enough, and you show yourself in the best light, we give you house points. We have subject uh, commendations, so once a term, your subject teachers might think you're the pick of a bunch uh, because you've regularly contributed. Uh, then we have um, head of house commendations when you are obviously mentioned and noted in a number of subjects um, or for any particular reason in your involvement in the community. And then we also have um, the Headmasters Awards. Headmasters Awards are worth lots of points for your house point, uh, for your house, uh, for the house competition cup. And um, quite honestly, it's a great uh, privilege and a recognition of your efforts um, for the academic year. And um, the way we could communicate this engagement for learning um, to your parents and to yourself and to just check where you are, uh, we use um, four descriptors that range from E1 to E4. E1 is the very top. That's what we aim all our students to be. And E4 uh, is completely unacceptable. And I have to say that we don't have many students in that category because obviously um, the students that are in school um, want to be doing better than that. E3 is the next one up from unacceptable, which is poor engagement. It means that the effort is not felt and you need to increase your effort and your focus in lessons. And we can put some level of intervention there. E2 is good. We want um, all of you to be there, but even better. Um, uh, I need to carry uh, an ESU student, um, you know, participates in all aspects of the lesson. Uh, you have a positive approach to the subjects, you ask questions, but really, what we really thrive for you to be is a knee one. A knee One um, is somebody who is fully independent in the learning and in your journey in school, that's what we want you to get in the end, to have signs of being independent, uh, a thirst for learning, uh, be an inquirer, ask questions, be noticed, um, make sure that you take pride in your work and that your homework is always to the best standard. And of course, you'll be on track with your targets that will mark your journey to GCC.